The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to play a preview demo for the upcoming game Tempest Rising. Please note that this is a demo. This is still a work in progress, and what is shown here may not be representative of the finished product. But they have been working on this for a really long time, and I've been keeping up with it for a really long time, because I know what this game is trying to be. This is Command and Conquer. This is the long overdue spiritual successor to Command and Conquer because EA, for whatever stupid reason, gave up on the greatest real-time strategy game of all time. Like, they had that Command and Conquer Generals 2. They announced Generals 2, the sequel to my favorite strategy game ever made. And then they were like, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to turn this into a free-to-play, pay-to-win piece of shit. And then the dev was like, yeah, we're not going to do that. And then EA was like, all right, shut it down. Close the studio. Kill everything. Kill the whole project. We'll make a mobile game. And I had to watch them eviscerate my favorite strategy franchise is already shredded corpse to smithereens and it was one of the saddest moments of my life okay so we got the global defense forces or the tempest dynasty now there are three factions in this there are currently only two campaigns that have been announced. I don't know if we're going to get a third campaign. If we do, it's probably going to be after release. But let's start with the GDF. Commander, good of you to join us. Is it? Gotta say. Your file was a pretty impressive read. I'm Colonel Fisher. You'll be reporting Fisher. directly to me. We can certainly use someone with your track record. Any relation to Sam Fisher? Situation brewing in uh, uh d -d 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 -d. <laughs> in Iceland. Iceland. Okay. Tempest harvesting all over the grid, but some of the lights are going out, starting from the east coast. If you ask me, I reckon it looks deliberate. I okay. want you to do a sweep of the area and flush out any dynasty forces you might find. Remind them that the GDF isn't to be trifled with. I'll link your control interface to the battle network. If you've got any questions, now's the time to voice them. Wait, can I actually? Yeah. All right. I can actually ask questions. According to scopes, nothing. We're chasing ghosts with guns. Maybe it is nothing, but I'll believe that when I see it. Take care of your units and keep your eyes sharp. Ghosts with guns, yeah, you got it. I played Call of Duty Ghosts. That game sucked. Let's beat them up. Technically, the threat level is negligible. To be honest, I don't like it. If it is the dynasty, they're up to something. There's a lot of Tempest all over Iceland, and you know they're obsessed with the stuff. Why go all that way just to harass our harvesters? They've got their own irradiated zones to squabble over. Let's hope a small contingent just got a bit too big for their own boots. Watch your back out there. That's all I'm saying. You know, your mouth moves all weird. It's a demo. It's a demo. Everybody relax. It's a demo. Glad to hear it. Stand by while I pat you through, and good luck. Yep. I put my neck on the block to get you this position. Don't let me down. Let's see what you can do, Commander. They're probably still working on the mouth movement. It's a demo. What is shown here may not represent the finished product. Everyone's got to remember that. <laughs> Everyone relax. Let's go to Iceland. Okay, that was Spain. Wait, is this just the battle map from uh, Command and Conquer Dynasty original? Operations have been disrupted in this area. Okay. Dynasty interference is suspected. Retake and hold the position. Await the arrival of a mobile construction vehicle. Then build a base and recommence harvesting. All right. Destroy any Dynasty forces and search for signs of a nearby Dynasty base. All right. Can't be too hard. It's the first mission.
Well, so far, a whole lot of fire out here. What did we blow up? Ooh. Electrifying. <laughs> Sam Fisher? <laughs> Look at the tires on that thing, they're huge. <laughs> oh, those are treads! Huh, bigger treads. Really big treads. Comedically large treads. Alright. This might be the same level that- This is not the same level I played at PAX. Okay. At least I don't think it is. It doesn't look like the same level. But it might be. Hang on. Let me run around a little bit. I did play this a little bit while I was at PAX East. They were there along with um, a whole bunch of other games being published by THQ Nordic. They were right next to the, uh, the Dead Island 2 booth. Yeah, Dead Island 2 because, you know, Dead Island 1 was good enough to get a sequel. They announced Dead Rising 2 when I was in, like... No, not Dead Rising. They announced Dead Island 2 when I was in, like, what, middle school? <laughs> Bunch of crap. Now, what are these units? Let's see here. Drone Operator. I was wondering what that drone was doing there. So they got, like, little abilities? Let's see. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, it's, a, it's another one of those. I don't know whether to left click or right click. Ooh, that's a lot of explosives. Maybe next time don't drive right next to him. Stupid. <laughs> what are you, stupid? They might be stupid. <laughs> we might be facing something very, very, someone very, very stupid, like the GLA. Because the GLA were very, very stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, hang on. How do we do that? What if we just go down here? Acknowledged. Got it. Oh wait, here we go. Hold it. Okay, so we can... Okay, all of our squads are gonna have one of these little guys. Yeah, we can uh, probably sneak up behind them and uh, shoot all these barrels over here. Let's give that a shot. That's quite a building! <laughs> Comedically evil looking. What are, who are these guys? The Russians? Whoa, whoa, okay. We're being shot at. Hang on. Okay, we're good now. Ooh. Who have you sent me? Ooh, we got trucks! Riot Medic! Ready to roll. Let's get to work. Riot Medic. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> nice coat. <laughs> Riot medic. Can I get inside these things? Nah. And then the small. All right. Uh, go hit that barrel. Take out the flame turret. didn't die. Where'd the giant head come from? I didn't see that as part of the building. <laughs> okay. I think this is actually a different level than what I played at PAX. Because what I played, um... We did. We didn't have these old trucks. We just we just went from infantry straight to we're gonna give you a tank. Oh my god! They fire rockets. That's kind of mean. But for a drone, come on! It's a drone. <laughs> How do you propose I do that? Send medic to the grenadiers. Can I do it from up here? I'm sending cars his way too. Oh boy, pathfinding not perfected yet. Secondary objective accomplished. Thanks for the help, Commander. Standing by for orders. Uh, your current orders are get healed. On my way. Commander, GDF forces collect intel as a resource. Intel is used to authorize limited countermeasures such as unit abilities and support powers. Yes, sir. Moving in. Okay. That, but that's credits. Okay, this is intel. The Sentinel Scout Car's alternate fire mode exchanges firepower for marking rounds. Okay. Generating intel when marked targets are destroyed. Explosive. Seems excessive. <laughs> Alright, let's go find these SAM sites. No problem. Ooh. Alright, we're getting into the red here. Lots of red things. Alright, uh, mark that, I guess. Oh my god, they're shooting drones! They're using SAM sites for drones! We could get new drones, right? Okay, yeah, they just they just create new drones after a little bit. All right, well, you killed one. Let me just uh, assemble another one. <laughs> Freaking drone hobbyists. So then again, we've seen how effective they are in Ukraine. <laughs> Ooh, there's one there. Uh, where are my Grenadier boys at? If we just, like, really carefully toss a grenade right there. No? Okay. Well, it was worth asking. Did you just run that guy over? Hang on. Flamethrower! Commander, you see those barrels by that power plant? Yes. Unit lost. Okay. 
We just lost a truck, hang on. To be fair, we do have a bunch of idiots in the back who aren't doing much of anything. Do we please keep the car in the back of the stuff? And the car is fucking dead! That's it, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so these are the harvesters. They are defenseless, so that's good. Yeah, some alien material invades Earth and they're like, well, I guess we might as well salvage this as a resource and build all of our stuff out of it. This is the second time that this has happened. Oh, for God's sake, guys, just blow up the building. It's obviously gonna keep deploying cars. There we go, see, all the cars exploded. Killed their uh, spinning radar dish. What is that? It's a radar station. It's literally a spinning radar dish. Who's that? There's a down shoot over here. Who landed here? We're clearly in the middle of a giant para drop operation. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh thank God. Construction vehicles standing by, Commander. Oh, Let's nice. That base. All right, how do we do this? Okay, so it's grid-based. Cool, cool. Primary objective accomplished. Power plant. Start with one of those. Uh, right there, I guess. Okay, so we we place the building down and then yeah, all right. Construction complete. Finalizing. Oh, and then it has to send a drone over there to Options. <laughs> Constructing. Defenses. Hey, if we walk on this, is it going to hurt? It hurts if you walk on Tiberium. They're okay, actually. That is worth checking, though. <laughs> Construction complete. Gatling turret. All right. Next up is the barracks. Silos. Raising the maximum amount of money. All right, so silos are in this game. Because Tiberium Wars was a really, really, really great game. <laughs> Tiberium Sun was all right. I have actually beaten Tiberium Sun. You will be astounded. But yes, I have beaten it. <laughs> Unlocks advanced units. I like the sound of advanced. Do we have a population? Yeah, we have a population capacity in this game. All right, that's one thing I don't like. I don't like population capacities. Commander, you can now train grenadiers from the barracks. The satellite unit will also collect intel passively. Okay, cool. So that solves that problem. Unit ready. Uh, I'm gonna need another power plant. We're gonna constructing. We're gonna play around with the base building just a little bit here. Just to see what we can do with it. Construction complete.
Ah, here come the flamethrowers. No, you stay in that base. <laughs> Don't make me get ugly with you. Here I go, I'm getting ugly. <laughs> this is me getting ugly. Because clearly these dudes want to fight. Okay, turrets are up. Sandbags. Alright, so how does this work? Construction complete. I get one thing of sand, but oh my god. You realize that the wall building in um, Tiberium Sun was probably one of my least favorite things about that game. Because the wall building in Tiberium Sun, it was like, okay, you get one block of wall. So here, 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 one at a time. It was really tedious. God forbid you want to build defense turrets, because then you have to build a tower, and then you have to pick something to go on top of that tower, and ugh. You have to build two things. Two things! You believe that? Why are they running that way? Where are you people going? Just stand there in the middle. Unit ready. Unit pathfinding needs some work. I think. We're gonna get a couple of units. Doctrines? What the heck is that? And while we're training those. Construction complete. Constructing. I like how it's just a little pile. Can you get behind those? Rifle squads in uh, Tiberium Wars, they could dig little bunkers and then they could just hang out in the entrenched bunkers. They were really useful, especially in the early game. I need gun people. <laughs> These guys don't make any sense to me, Grenadiers. People don't run onto the battlefield armed with nothing but a pile of grenades. <laughs> right, we got two more Grenadiers that are uh, gonna be ready in just a minute. You know what would be really good to have at this base? Wait, I want to see how good these are. Pretty good so far. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like how that just flattens every tree. Unit <laughs> ready. We must deep forest in the name of progress. Constructing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared for that. Constructing. Unit ready. Construction complete. Constructing. All right. More troopers and lots of them. Just doing a bit of reckless spending. Constructing. 
And now four turrets. I like my turrets. Unit ready. But there's two ways to play Command and Conquer when defending your base. You can have a wall of guns defend it, or you can have a great big swarm of infantry. Now in Tiberium Sun, I used the wall of guns, but by the time Tiberium Wars came around, I was using a swarm of mammoth tanks. Training. Unit ready. More. This is definitely not enough infantry. Also, can we repair this guy? Unit ready. Not sure. And now we're out of money. All right, fine. Everybody move out. We got an attack move, right? Yes, we do have an attack move Unit option. Ready. All right, car goes in first and dies immediately. This is working. <laughs> Hit those barrels. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Flame tank! Flame tank! Flame turrets. Airstrike ready. Let's pick a location, Commander. Cool. Uh, but can we pick up the pace, please? My men are dying. Alright, how do we call it in? Funds. Here we go. It's gonna cost 3,000 to do it. Reporting. Oh, that would actually be the medic working overtime. Okay, we've got to stop training these dudes now. On hold. Canceled. Oh my god, okay, they say the exact same thing in Command and Conquer. They're not even being subtle about it anymore. <laughs> Is that a tank? It's a boar. <laughs> Yeah, these guys look comedically e evil. Yeah, we're going back to base. I said we're going back to base, guys. Come on. Guys, what are you doing? You, what the hell are you doing? If this starts getting my men killed, I'll never forgive any of you. Uh, we're almost halfway to 3,000. Had I known it was going to cost that much, I wouldn't have spent so much money. <laughs> What is this thing? Yes, sir. Head now. Oops. What about Tempest? It's like a. I want to say it's a bulldozer, but it's got a really tiny b bulldozer blade. And now I think he's stuck. There he goes, okay. I think he's waiting on these little flowers to spawn. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Oh, that's a geyser. I didn't even notice. Okay, 3,000. 
Let's blow it up, ladies and gentlemen. Get me my troops. Ooh, here it comes. Oh, and I got the whole thing. Charge. Everybody charge. Target that tank. Because we're starting with him. Both of them. Just keep firing. We have enough men that they'll die. <laughs> I will assume this is their construction yard. Oops, we're killing it. So sorry, but it's dead now. Well, I mean, there's some power generators over here, if you... Okay. <laughs> oh, are we going into the trailer now? Battle command uplink initializing. Please stand by. The dynasty have amassed an enormous army right under our noses. Okay. Ten minutes ago, while the GDF Council was debating whether to even respond, the dynasty have launched attacks across our western border. Well, that sucks. God knows how long. Psycom, code red. Issue an immediate retreat order to all GDF units in 10 miles. Get our troops out of there. Weapons free. These tanks fire, fire back. Get our drone fleet in the air and get me a satellite pointed at this. Okay, but when is it out? Because <laughs> I. How long have we been waiting for this game? Okay, so that's Tempest Rising, ladies and gentlemen. They only gave us one level. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I don't know exactly when this is out at PAX. At the booth, they said it was out in like November, but it's but now it's gone back to just coming soon. I could have sworn it was out this year, but maybe they pushed it back. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it. Go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. Also, complete series on release? I'm not entirely opposed to that.